Hey, what's going guys? I'm back. I'm back. I know it's been a while. I was taking some time off for myself and I was studying to have my uh, advanced uh, pilot's license, uh, as you call it in the United States, it's called uh, Part 107, I think. But in this episode, we're gonna fix the damn lens I smashed into the pole in this video. It was my uh, iFlight Protect 25 lens, the Cadix uh, Vista lens. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Very simple and efficient. Uh, with those tiny lens you can order online. I'm gonna post the link in the description. If you like that kind of content, I highly suggest you press this little thumbs up button. Oh, and there's a, a subscribe there and the bell to be notified. So let's fix this lens once and for all after this. And welcome back. So I'm gonna show you everything you need to fix your uh, Cadix Vista lens or any lens. Uh, but in my case, it's the Cadix Vista. So you need some spare lens. So it comes in this little package. With, you have the lens, you have uh, the lens cap. And uh, where is it? Oh, it's the um, focus ring. So you got a focus ring, you got the lens that I just removed. And yeah. So you also need, I'm gonna put this there, put this there, leaving that tray. Okay, you're gonna need a screwdriver. You're gonna need, to, <laughs> I don't know where to look. This camera, this camera, I'm gonna, look this camera, but I'm gonna show you in close up. You're gonna need a, a, a pair of flyers, some batteries to uh, power up your FPV drone, a heat gun. <laughs> And uh, you need uh, super glue, uh, so I'm gonna explain later. And of course you need your goggles uh, with a powered battery. So first off, what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the props because you never wanna work on your drone when you have the props on. An accident can arrive anytime, so we're gonna remove it. We're gonna fast forward this part because I know it's a little bit boring. then and now what we're gonna do we're gonna heat the lens uh, it's because uh, you see they put some glue to fix the lens to the uh, armature so it doesn't fall off when you fly with it and also it, it fixes the focus so the focus it won't screw up while you fly so we're gonna have to apply about 30 something seconds with uh, high heat with this uh, heat gun so let's do this. I'm gonna mute the sound because it's gonna be loud. Oh, nice shooting, Tex. Oh, yeah. More moments later. Holy oh, shit. Uh, smoke coming out of the gun. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. I think this lens is ready to go up. Let's go. Let's try. Oh, it works. Now if you can see, oh yeah, I'm unscrewing the lens. There you go. It's going up. Oh yes. Ow. <laughs> Still hot. <laughs> Better use my pliers. <laughs> oh! And it's out. Thanks, uh, Big Brother, for buying this amazing heat gun. It's powerful. Man. So, as you can see, I removed the lens, the busted lens with a crack in it. 
Okay, now that it's done, I'm gonna put the old one on the right. The new one that I can touch with my bare fingers, not the old one because it's still freaking hot. So, ah, oh, the frame, the frame is hot too. So be careful. So I'm gonna hold it in the back like this, and I'm gonna screw in the slot there the new one, the new lens, as you can see. And this is the focus ring. So we're gonna put the focus ring in. Ah. Like so, let's screw it all the way in. Hey, that's what she said. <laughs> and screw it in the uh, Cadex Vista inlet. But then we're gonna have to remove the lens cap in order to see something with the goggles. Yeah, this is beautiful now. <laughs> Look at that beautiful lens. Okay, let's power off this little beast. Put a battery in. It's gonna beep. Watch out. <laughs> Sorry for the loud beeps. <laughs> so it's powered on and the goggles, let's power it on. Okay, I'm just gonna check if I see something. By the way, if you can't record in your goggles, like I, was, I wasn't able to record, I had to go in the menu to uh, deactivate. There's a, in the settings down, there's device. In device, there's auto temp control. It's on by default, so when it overheats, it's gonna shut down, you can't record. So make sure to deactivate the auto, auto temperature control. So this is what I did. Now I'm gonna be able to record. So let's press record, beautiful. So, it's not that beautiful, as you can see, it's uh, pretty blurry. So I'm gonna try to adjust the, oh yeah, I have to do two things at the same time, but yeah. So if I can adjust the, oh my God, my fingers, it's huge. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. I'm gonna have to unscrew the little, uh, wait. Okay, I'll show you. Yeah, the, um, there's the ring, the focus ring. I need to push uh, to screw it more close to the, um, the lens so I can have more, um, more room to rotate the lens to adjust the focus. So let's go back to my goggles. Screwing, screwing, screwing. Oh, it's getting there. Oh, now I can see, uh, oh, you can see my living room. <laughs> so this is how I film. My living room is transformed as a studio, as you can tell. Oh, sorry, I stopped recording because it's overheated. So let's take a break and uh, let's power it down so it, it cools off so I can see, uh, show you when it's on focus. One eternity later. All right, I think it, it cooled off finally because uh, it's quite cold outside. It's it's around five degrees Celsius in Montreal. So I was uh, waving it in the cold, uh, cold air to uh, cool it off. Let's see. Can I record? Yes. So, so I'm just gonna have to screw the little focus ring. I don't know, screw it this way. Once it's done, we're gonna make sure it stays in place. How? By putting some crazy glue on top. And on top, not on top of the lens, you don't want this. Uh, it's gonna be in the wrinkle in between the focus ring and the gray thing. But be sure to put some gloves in on, I mean, <laughs> to avoid sticking your fingers. And... Uh, almost ready for the surgical procedure. I'm ready. Total concentration. You ready, Jack? I was born ready. Oh, am I? How can you open this? Oh, there you go. Let's verify one more time if the focus is still right. And yep. Everything looks on focus. <laughs> Now let's glue that little guy. 
you just need a little dab on the focus ring just like in the hot ones <laughs> the last dab just a tiny drop it's actually a big drop now let's cover the tube like so this is done but you keep the gloves on because it's not dried yet so that's pretty much how you do it i hope you like this video if you did there's something on your left something on your right and a bell to be notified when i'm posting new videos so thanks again guys fly safe and see you in the next one bye bye